Hi, I'm Baron. If you're new to the channel, I do ship deep dives, buyers guides, all sorts of information on ships, so I hope you enjoy. Join our Discord and subscribe. Hello chickies, hello everyone. It is Baron. Today we're going to be doing a buyer's guide on the Drake Cutter, the newly released starter ship. Now, I want to go off and say that, you know, with these ships, you do not have to go and buy them. You don't have to go and spend the cash. This is simply advice on the ship and giving you a rundown on all its components and the ship overall and then giving you how I feel about it and whether or not you should buy it or if you should get it in game. So going off from here, the Drake Cutter, as I said, is a starter ship. It is a single seat starter ship to be exact. It's tough, versatile and has a flexible frame. It can tackle multiple roles. It is designed to be user friendly, making a deal for fledging pilots. Now the best thing about this right now is if you buy it, it will not cost you that much. It's about $45. The war bond is $40. Now with this ship, it is one of the most basic low cost starter ships that you can currently find in Star Citizen and in my opinion is one of the best. Now this thing might not be for everybody but I definitely feel like it should be a good consideration. Now I myself don't have really a need for starter ships but I brought one. I thought it's a really great design concept, it has a really great idea behind it. If I don't want it I will CC it up but I'm most likely going to keep it. Now its role is a light freight, it's obviously small, has a crew of one, has 4 SCU of cargo, 650,000 USCU of stowage, it is 20 meters long, 16 meters wide and has a 6 meter height. Its combat speed is 160 ms, its max speed is 1050 ms, it weighs 86,877 kilos. Now if you were to buy one of these, it is $40 on war bond and $45 five dollars for non-war bond now if you go out and buy one of these you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a regret you're not gonna regret the decision to buy one of these it's only forty dollars and like I said it's probably one of the most nimblest versatile starter ships that you can currently find in Star Citizen now going over the specifications for this ship they're all mostly size 1 components which you get right you completely get that they're all size one you have a size one radar you have a size one computer size one power plant size one battery a size one cooler and a size one shield generator you have a size one quantum drive a size one fuel intake and two size one fuel tanks you also have two size one quantum fuel tanks now this has next to like 660,000 liters of hydrogen fuel which is absolutely insane if you are to use it it has two size twos which are gimbaled size one cf117 bulldogs it also has four size one spark missiles it has a decoy launcher has its noise launcher and it has an absolutely beast of a spotlight on the front of it. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I will try and show you a clip of its insane lighting on the front of it. I, when I used this, I was like, what? How is this even a starter ship? And uh, I was, yeah, I wasn't really left kind of baffled, but I was just left like, how does a starter ship have this good of a light on it? It's very, very bright. Now, I'm not saying it's also a good idea, but you can fit a Grey Cat STV in one of these. I did it, and it sort of popped me out the top of the ship, I guess, with the just the way the ship's made or something's wrong with it. But again, you can put an STV in this. You might have to park it off to the right or the left so you can work your way around it, but it's doable. It's, uh, it's definitely doable. I wouldn't really suggest it, but it's one of those, <laughs> it's one of those things that... It just needs to be worked on, I guess. But if you do it, um, just it comes with the caveat that you, you know you may you may just you may very well die. It's it's an absolute possibility. Um, another one is that if you were in the pilot seat and you look to your left and you see like a little switch, it's like a like a toggle switch, and you look to your left or you look to your right, you will see that you have like a canopy deployed like a shielding deployed around the two side windows which is really really awesome and means I guess 
good things to come for the character as that is supposed to have a canopy setup. I guess something similar to this. But for those moving mechanics, I guess this is a really good start on a little ship. It also has the VTOL thrusters off a vulture if you didn't know that already. So it comes with a lot of cool stuff. It has a lot of good things about it. My personal thoughts on it is that I love this thing. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic that there's an affordable, great little starter ship that people can use, that they can go out there, they can just jump straight in this thing. It's nimble, it's versatile, it's agile. People say it, it's, it doesn't steer that well. I, I would tend to disagree with that. I have used this in Microtech Atmosphere, going as fast as I can with my boosters on, spun to the right, and I'm absolutely flabbergasted as how easily this can maneuver. People are saying that they've had troubles with the maneuverability of this. Not every ship is going to be as good as a Gladius or as an Arrow, but you have to lit like realize that something this big has got great maneuverability for what it is and the size it is. And they did say that the maneuvering thrusters don't have as much power so it feels like it's got that heavy weight feeling to it. But again, I don't see any issue with that. It's not as bad as what I had sort of anticipated. It's actually a lot in the opposite direction. So in my mind, if you were a starter and you're looking for a starter ship, this is the perfect ship to get. Honestly, I don't see an issue with this. I would, I have one. I would get one in a heartbeat if I was a starter. So take it or leave it with the advice that I've given and the details that I've given you. Let me know down in the comments what you all think of this ship. I personally think it's fantastic. I think it's great. I, I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike and we'll see you in the verse. Thank you for watching.